You know when you watch a movie on Netflix or on YouTube and you have to stop it for whatever reason and you come back and it knows where you left off and it starts up the video where you were last watching it. This is great if you're watching a movie and all of a sudden like a child wakes up or something happens where you need to pause the movie and you can't come back to it right away. You end up turning off the TV, you turn it back on and Netflix remembers where you are. I'd like to show you how you can implement that with any video that you have at api.video. And for that, I've built a, a, a demo. You'll be able to find it at resume a video, uh, HTTPS resume.a.video. Right now I'm running it locally uh, while we push it live. But what I have here is I have three videos here that we can choose to watch. We'll just pick the first one. And um, the way we know how to resume a video for a specific person is we have a user ID. And in this case, the user ID is my name, Doug. And so what I'm gonna do is say, hey, Let's look up Doug and see the last time he watched this video. And so what happens when I click that link is we'll just open up the code here really quickly. We'll go to the job, the, the node backend. And on the node backend, we're gonna say, we're gonna authenticate ourselves to get a, the API token. Um, and then what we do is we say, hey, let's look up all of the sessions that use the metadata of username and then username with Doug as the username. And that will give all of the sessions that I've watched of this video. There's one of three options. Either I've never watched the video before, we'll start at time zero. Um, you can see I'm requesting just one entry. If there's one entry, we'll start there. If there's more than one entry, it will tell me what the last one is. So I can make a second request and say, give me the last session that occurred. I can get the last session that occurred. And from that, I will get a session ID. With that session ID, I can now look up that session. And inside each session, it tells me all of the events. And the last event will tell me the last time that I watched the video. And from that, then I can build a URL that says, hey, watch this video. The video ID describes the distinct video. We'll add the metadata of with, with the username and in this case, it'll autoplay. If I had a session, I can say, add the video ID, assign it to Doug, and then T equals last time recorded. And it will start at that time. All right, well, let's see what happens when I run this application. Here's the app. Here's the node backend so we can see what's being written to console log. All right, so. What happens here is it says, all right, Doug is here. Let's see. So if we look, it started at about two minutes and 46 seconds, two minutes, 120 plus 40. So about 160 some seconds. Let's see if that actually holds. I'll pause this here. All right. So we get my token and then I say, all right, it says there are, this is the first session. And it says, well, with the first session, there's actually 24 total sessions. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab this last session. Here's page 24 of just one. So now it goes back and it says, all right, well, here's the 24th session and I pull the session ID out. All right, and then I can say, well, let's find out about that session. Here's the session. And it says the last time I watched it, you can see I started at zero, I press play. And then at time two, I paused it and I jumped forward to 163 seconds where it resumed and then I paused it at 165 seconds. So it says that the last event happened at 165 seconds. Well, you know, it started at uh, two minutes and 40 some seconds. That's 160 some seconds, right? I'm pretty happy with that. So what this did is it found 165 seconds and then it went back and started it at that time. All right, so now let's see, I've played a little bit and I'm at 255 seconds. Let's just move it ahead to, let's go to straight four. That'll be 240 seconds, right? If I pause and unpause it. Now, if I refresh the page, the last session is now this session. And the last thing that happened is I paused it at 241 seconds. So if I refresh the page, it'll make all the sim queries again. And you can see the last event was at 241 seconds. And now the video is starting at 241 seconds. Super cool. So now we've got this app that will, if you have authentication and you can identify each user, you can apply the username as dynamic metadata. And with dynamic metadata, each session is then assigned specifically to that user. 
And then you can grab the last session of that user, find the last time they interacted with the page, reload it, and start them off right where they watched the video. So feel free to check out the demo. It's at resume.a.video. Uh, the code is up on GitHub, and there's a blog post at api.video that describes how we built it if you want to read more. So thank you so much for watching. Come back to a.video regularly to find new demos on how we've implemented cool features with api.video. Thanks for watching.